couple of new features on the machine. First of all, a brand new control system. Also, there's a new automatic wire threading system. You can actually put the tool into the tool change carousel and then it will, by means of a radio signal, send it to a handheld monitor which you have there, Mark. Here, the machine has electric current running through it, through the electrode, down to the component, creating a spark and eroding it. This particular machine is the U6 Heat, so that's high energy applied technology. We felt that they offered the best overall package and the most suitable machine for what our needs were. On this machine, to do four webs at 82 mil deep is taking 15 hours. This is the first machine in the UK that we are completely flow assembling from start to finish. It's a combination of using barrel type, conical barrel type tools and some of the max machining finishing cycle. Now this is the InnoZet product that makes three jaw chuck into a six jaw chuck. The, the KR16 is the standard robot that we use in our training facilities. People who come to KUKA training always get the same level of, of training anywhere. From Mitsubishi we have a, a standard sort of control that runs throughout the range. The casting of the machine tool runs through the range also. It rapids are 60 metres a minute, so you go from zero to 100 very, very fast. We completely revamped our pricing policy both on the spares and on the servicing of the machines. This machine is more of a 3 plus 2. It's making its UK debut at the Southern Manufacturing Show. Well, the serrated edges uh, we're finding is a good problem solver, especially when we're using large radial engagements of cutter. This is what we call an integrated ball screw. Uh, it's a combination of a, a ball screw and spline. A nine-ton machine of a gantry construction, which gives strength and rigidity to the cross slide. Yeah, we started for with like basic drilling tools. Till in the last years, we fired Yell thread milling. My father designed and developed it in the early 1990s. Predominantly, we went because of the robot loading. Um, we can produce uh, large batches of tools. We initially bought a Sonic die sink uh, June last year to produce some specialist dies. This new machine will produce parts quicker, and now it comes off the machine done. It just enables us to do the large sort of scale machining. This facility is terrific and it is huge. they don't have to learn anything, they're using a skill they've already got as far as programming uh, the MAZAC. We have a very good referencing system for the tools. This quality is in the manufacture. Sprint on machine contact scanning system. Uh, it's a full 3D high-speed measurement system. We've got full five-axis simultaneous machining sensors, lives with Y-axis and driven tooling, three plus two machining sensors. Very great, very compact machine, 12,000 RPM spindle speed, linear guideways. We are developing a large-scale 3D printing technology. We work with robotics and uh, we develop the software to control the robots. It's primarily the product that we're focused on is their right angle head system. It's very, very different to traditional type right angle heads in as much as it uh, runs on high pressure coolant. So we've made a smaller chuck now, which has got a lot more clearance around the front nose of the chuck. So the twin spindle machines, they work very, very well. It's meant we can produce our parts more efficiently and to a more accurate tolerance. And the big attraction was the double bed. So we've got the rotary bed and a stationary bed. Our photogrammetry stall systems over here, uh, which are more based on optical, still giving out to point clouds. You can still do all your normal types of inspection with them. So invoicing, effectively, I've done it this morning, and it takes me a couple of minutes. 
can create technical drawings, you can recreate parts, and even assemblies of items. So yeah, we try and do the whole lot digitally. We decided to make or to start the first traveling column machine in this factory. Uh, work here in the tool management room is a real tool management room. Is how the tool management room of our company in Germany looks like. This is our 5F3 plus 2 machine. It's a 10,000 spindle. It comes with the 828 control, but as you can see, that can process all the data that the Tebis software is throwing at it. But this is the DVF 5000, and it's one of the new range of five axis machines that Doosan have launched. Three meters across it, actually 3.048, so some huge components in there. Uh, it's kitted out and prepared for Capto C6 and also Capto uh, C8. With a conical barrel tool, you have that angle on the tool which enables you to get into those deep pockets. So today we're showing off um, an aerospace rib part. The material is P20 steel, and we're making three components out of one solid block. Methods that we can measure, for example, uh, surface finish, which you can't do on a CMM. So the Micro Plus has the ability to pump out the liquid by pressure, not by a pump. This is the Axile 5 Axis machining centre. The main thing is the construction of it. It's a very, very well built machine. Uh, the first one is uh, a new Remax TS fix. Uh, this differs from our existing program because it's non-expandable. Well, the Victor machine is making all the drives and tail shafts to, that we put onto the Archimedean spiral. Not 60 in this car. Here, as you see it, Cornwall Airport, Newquay today. Five-ton car. The car will be doing 60 miles an hour, two seconds. But not only the size of the machine, with all of the attachments, it's got some really nice features. Connect our machines with the possibility to feed our data without any reduction of productivity of the machine to the cloud system. So we're getting the repeatability, but also the fact that we can take the vices off, do some checks on the CMM, put it back on the machine, remachine it if we need to. It's a, an 800 size table on this machine with 800 mil in the X axis, 900 millimeters in the Y axis. The sliding head option, we found we could buy a machine for less than half the price of one of those and move some of the work that they were doing onto that machine. Automation and machine tending uh, is ultimately about making uh, processes uh, more efficient. This is the Hardinge Bridgeport XR1000 machining centre. This is a high precision, high performance machine. The Alfori Mark is a new class of machines. We just launched here for the EMO two models, L40, L50, with a capability of four axis or five axis machining. So here we are inside now at the Herco Christmas Open House. It's early hours and the partners are getting ready. I just want to take a quick walk around to see what's on show. Come on, follow me. <laughs> 